My name is Selena, I'm a nutrition educator, and I'm back with another video. Today's lesson is called Double Duty Meals. We will be discussing how to make cooking quicker and easier in the kitchen. Then we will make a sesame chicken and vegetable stir fry. All the information that I'm sharing is from the American Heart Association. So with that being said, let's get started. We all want to eat a healthier diet and serve healthy meals to our families, but sometimes Preparing that healthy meal can take a lot of extra work and time in the kitchen, especially if you're making meals from scratch. Today, you are going to learn two strategies to make the most of your cooking time. The primary one is cook once, eat twice. You can create what we call double duty meals. The first strategy is to cook enough of a basic ingredient to cover two recipes and make two meals. Let's go over some examples. Bake eight chicken breasts seasoned with a blend of Southwestern spices. Serve four for dinner over brown rice, garnished with fresh cilantro and a squeeze of fresh lime juice. Cool and refrigerate four in an airtight container to use for chicken enchilada casserole later in the week. Roast turkey breasts rubbed with olive oil, garlic, and crushed rosemary. Slice and serve half the turkey with gravy, mashed potatoes, and peas as side dishes. Cool and refrigerate half the turkey in an airtight container to use for a turkey casserole later in the week. Cook one and one thirds cupped dried black beans. Use about half the beans to make bean and vegetable patties. Use the remaining black beans to make a nutritious black bean soup. Cook one cup of dried quinoa to make four cups of cooked quinoa. Cooked quinoa freezes well. Add a few teaspoons of water before microwaving. Use half a cup to make your breakfast cereal. Stir in dried fruit or chopped nuts. Top with fresh fruit and drizzle half and half or almond milk. Use one cup of the remaining quinoa to make veggie burgers. Add one can of beans, one avocado, one egg and spices to taste. Grill 10 cups of mixed vegetable pieces, such as carrots, zucchini, or red bell pepper. Transfer two cups of the cooked vegetables to an airtight container to use within two days to make grilled vegetable paninis. For dinner, stir together the remaining eight cups mixed vegetables with chickpeas and two and a half cups of cooked bulgur. Roast a two pound eye of round roast seasoned with an herb rub. Slice half the beef to serve for dinner with corn and steamed broccoli. Cool and refrigerate half the beef in an airtight container. Thinly slice and serve over mixed greens with a balsamic and Dijon mustard dressing later in the week. Roast two one pound pork tenderloins marinated in an Asian style marinade. Slice and serve half the pork with a garnish of toasted sesame seeds. Serve green beans on the side. Cool and refrigerate half the sliced pork in an airtight container to use in making fried rice later in the week. The second strategy is to double or triple a recipe. Create leftovers intentionally so you can freeze them for a future meal. Creating leftovers works well with soups, stews, pasta dishes, and casseroles. If you have a slow cooker, use it to help you prepare these meals and save even more time. You will get dinner on the table faster if you have a healthy frozen meal to reheat when you arrive home. Now, I would like to discuss some tips to help you practice safe food storage. Make sure your freezer is set at zero degrees Fahrenheit and your refrigerator is set at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. After making a dish, divide out the food you want to store. Divide food into portions you can realistically see you and your family consuming at one time. Place them in airtight containers. Wrap items such as bread in several layers of plastic wrap to prevent freezer burn. 
Be sure to cool all cooked foods before wrapping or placing in airtight containers. Label your frozen food with a strip of tape. Write the name of the dish and the date. That way you always know what's in them and how long they've been in your freezer. Refrigerate your food as soon as possible or within two hours. If the food is above 90 degrees, it should be refrigerated within one hour. Leftovers will keep up to five days in the refrigerator and up to six months in the freezer. Reheat leftovers thoroughly at a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees. If you are in doubt about the safety of the food you are about to eat, it is best to just throw it away. Now that you know how to make delicious double duty meals, let's make sesame chicken and vegetable stir fry. These are the ingredients that we will need for the sesame chicken and vegetable stir fry. Four ounces of broccoli, two carrots, four green onions, half a teaspoon of ginger, one can of water chestnuts, one can of mandarin oranges, half a cup of chicken broth, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of sesame seeds, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, a teaspoon of soy sauce, half a cup of snow peas, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a cup of green cabbage, and two chicken breasts.
much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I would also like to give a big thank you for all the love and support you have shown me on my videos. I have learned so much from creating these virtual lessons and I really hope you did too. Stay healthy and have a great rest of your week. Bye.